Okay, just thought I'd make a really quick video uh, on activating Windows 10. Uh, and then you, <coughs> um, there's a plenty of tutorials on how you can upgrade from Windows 10 to 11. Uh, it's kind of a workaround, um, and I don't remember how to do it off the top of my head, but um, on to this video. So you want to go to Command Prompt and run it as administrator. And I've already got Windows activated, so I'm not going to actually enter this. But I've built a lot of PCs, uh, probably about 15, 20 here lately, and this is what I do every time. Uh, there's never any issues. They always work perfectly fine. So first you want to type in, and I will copy all of this uh, in my description. Um, and if I could run a a VM and show you I would. So you want to copy and paste that and then press enter and it, it will show up a couple dialog boxes like five or ten and you just click OK on all of them. Now if you have Windows 10 home you're gonna copy this or you're gonna copy this and then this. So you're gonna wanna do that space and then if you have Windows 10 Home, copy this, and then press Enter. Um, and then it should say Activating Windows 10 Home Edition. Same with Pro, you do the same thing, but if it's Pro right here, you copy this text. Uh, and I just included Single Language Home um, just because. So once you've entered that, uh, you just click OK on the dialog boxes and then enter this, you know, copy, paste, hit enter, and you'll get another dialog box. And finally, you copy and paste the last one and hit enter. Now, um, I'm, I literally am not, like, this is not a troll, this isn't a hack, or what the crap ever. Um, I just know that this works, and if there's any PC builders, or you don't have an activated copy of Windows, and you don't want to go buy a key off of a sus website for, like, 20 bucks, I can't recommend doing this anymore. Like I said, I've done this many times, and I've never had a single issue uh, with it um, and the reason why this works and it will forever work and why it's legit is because what this is basically doing is it's kind of tricking your PC into thinking that it's a uh, office PC like in an office setting and Microsoft gives uh, activated copies of Windows to uh, places like that so that's why you connect to the server here um, and this this is all completely safe like I said I've done this so many times and I <laughs> I don't benefit from uh, you know screwing with you guys but I just thought I'd make this video real quick and show you guys this um, but yeah that's gonna be it let me know if y'all need anything else or want any more tutorials I'll see you guys in the next one